Francisco Bay Area in September is draped in fog. I don't think we've had that before, or very rarely. We're still in our fog season, two months past it. Let me straighten this camera out a little bit here. But the fog is very warm and I'm sweating, but we're supposed to keep our clothes on to avoid the tick problem this time of the year. Yet another study report, this time about the oil industry and their methane releases. They're 60% higher than previously thought. It turns out that according to this, this, uh, this information that's come out, the oil and gas industry is emitting 13 million metric tons yearly of methane alone, just because of leaks. Now this is not September weather, this is July weather in September. So they're saying that most of the leaks are coming from malfunctioning equipment. So these emissions are the same as all the emissions by the U.S. coal fire power plants combined. This was a 10-year study. So methane does account for about 10% of all the greenhouse gases. So if we could eliminate most of the methane leaks, you know, that cuts down the greenhouse gases by quite a bit. One more thing on the methane issue is that the Orange Man administration is now considering relaxing the regulations even more on coal fire power plants to allow lead and mercury to escape into the air. Almost 90% of all the mercury and all the lead will be going into the air. According to the study, this will kill 11 million people a year. But he says that's not true. Of course, he would know better, right? After all, he hits a little white ball all over the green. So, this next story comes from AUM on Pink Barrio's last video. He was talking about the big sinkholes that have happening in the, some are as big as 60 meters or 190 feet across, and as much as 200 meters or 656 feet deep. These holes are apparently being caused, well, they're not apparently, they're being caused by huge bubbles of methane that are defrosting from the permafrost and escaping in, they blow up and escape into the air. Even if they catch fire, they'd still turn into CO2 and cause huge amounts of pollution that way. Is there anything that can be done about it? Nada. Nada. They think that this uh, gas bubble expansion started in 2016 because of the severe heat waves up there. You know, a lot's happening on the planet right now. A lot of serious information is being passed on here in the U.S. in the Justice Department situation. I'd suggest keeping up with that. The U.S. may turn into something it isn't or never was. And if we just ignore it, then what? I appreciate all the ups and the downs, and especially the new subscribers. And until next time,